with Putin was a PR disaster that sparked outrage from both Democrats and Republicans, but he still has people in his corner like our next guest. Please welcome author of the new book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, Judge Jeanine Pirro. Hi. Hi. It's great to see you again. We worked together at Fox for a long time. So you were on the short list to be a Supreme Court pick. Even Don Jr. tweeted, quote, that would be pretty awesome. Did the president ever speak to you about being on the Supreme Court? Well, I speak to the president quite often, but there was no discussion about me being on the Supreme Court. And I think that's what he means by fake news. It's on the front page of a New York City, one of the biggest newspapers. Uh, look, I, I've been a judge. I was an elected county judge. I mean, I love it. Uh, it's not the most exciting job in the world, mm -hmm. uh, but no. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, well, what about the rumor that you've lobbied to take over Jeff Sessions' job as an attorney general? You said you just speak to the president all the time. I do. Have you spoken I've to him, him about that? I've known the president for 30 years, and I've spoken to him quite a lot over the last 30 years. But how and about to be that? honest, look, we talk about a lot of things, and I actually But how about, get, about the attorney I'm general? Finished, I'm trying to answer your question. Okay. What I'm trying to do when I go to the Oval Office or I speak to the president I don't say anything different from what I say on my show, Justice, on Saturday nights. And that is that it is time that there are consequences for some of the things that are going on in Washington. Look, I've been a prosecutor, a judge, and a DA for 30 years. Mm -hmm. I've run for office five times. Mm -hmm. I believe in consequences. And when people violate the law, there needs to be consequences. Mm -hmm. And we're not seeing that in Washington. We're not seeing people made accountable for what they've done. So to answer your question directly, I have spoken to him, not about getting the job, okay. no, but about having someone in that job. I don't care who it is, as long as it's an attorney general who's not in the closet hiding somewhere, who 24 hours after he took the job said, I'm not going to do anything with respect to the election, and that's all we've been talking about for a year and a half. Would you take the job? I haven't been offered the job. Okay. That's not a no. That's not a no. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk a little about Russia. Ah. Um, he met with Putin in Helsinki. Uh, a lot of folks, Democrats and Republicans, agree it was probably not the best idea uh, because it kind of undermines our country. What do you think? Not the best idea, Whoopi? Come on. Every president in the last 75 years has met with the head of the Kremlin. And I think the most important thing to take back from this meeting mm -hmm. is the fact that Russia and the United States have more nuclear power than the rest of the world. It's important, and I think it was Abraham Lincoln who said, the way, uh, you know, one of the ways to win is to make an enemy a friend. I'm not saying they should be friends, but what I'm saying is this. Uh-huh. We come out of that meeting. Uh -huh. We are arming the people in the Ukraine, $70 billion worth of arms while Barack Obama stood by and let Russia go in. Let me finish. I didn't Crimea say was, I didn't Crimea do Crimea was annexed. Uh -huh. And as a result of the annexing of Crimea, we have thrown out uh, Russian uh, uh, officials and nationalists. We've closed consulates. We are also in the United States mm -hmm. making sure that uh, with respect to Russia, uh, the, if had Obama done anything about that red line, we he wouldn't opens be... opens up an investigation Wait, me, into Russian uh, let me collusion. Finish, 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 I came finish. here... Let me finish. Go ahead. Okay, that but for mm -hmm. Obama drawing the line in the red sand and mm -hmm. doing nothing about mm -hmm. a red line in the mm -hmm. sand, we wouldn't have killed hundreds of Russians let me, who were so over there. So let me ask you a so, question. Let me ask you a question. So you're all for people meeting. And having conversations. That's what I'm well, hearing. Well, that's you say. precedent. Okay. Then how did you feel when Obama met with, uh, I don't know, name somebody who. How Castro. About Castro or met Raul with. Castro? Uh, yeah. yeah. Were you comfortable with I don't have a with problem that? with people talking. That's one of the things that we need now. Uh -huh. We need people to talk. Uh, okay. People who ostensibly hate each other. It's time we sat down and had Now! Oh, wait, I'm but, so wait, can I just go? One thing that jumped out at me is you said there should be consequences for laws. My understanding of the annexing of Crimea was that it was an international agreement that they could not mm. go into Crimea. So those were consequences, and that means we won't sit down at a table. We will push back on you, Russia. Okay. And that's, so I, I'm and, just curious if that's... And a, what did Barack Obama do but that right. but it's, no, it, it doesn't it matter to me no, Barack matter. Obama is no longer point. president so how, how much longer are we going to be rehashing this
Yes. We want to hear years. what everybody has to say. We want to hear what everybody has to well, say, so let's not talk over each other. What, you, what okay. you're saying is accurate, though, which is why a lot of people had problems. You're right. International law was broken, and the President mm -hmm. Obama did nothing. So you are correct in that aspect. But, but how about the fact part that the of the reason why we're in the place that we are now? President but, Obama opened up an investigation into Russian meddling, and this president fired James Comey, the person that was conducting the investigation. So what about that? What about that? Okay, I'm yeah. glad you asked that question. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Now, one of the problems with meddling and this whole Russian investigation is there are two issues. Number one, was there meddling? Everybody agrees there was meddling. Donald Trump agrees there was meddling. Although Barack Obama said about a month before the election, there's no way anyone could meddle in the election. There right. can't and be so, a rigged and election. And do remember that, that your friend also was made aware of the meddling. Well, he was that's, aware. That's not what I'm saying. I know the that's second... not what you're saying, but I'm, I'm okay. adding to what you're putting out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so the second, the second part of the Russian investigation is what I write my book about. Yes. And that is when individuals in the Department of Justice, in the FBI, mm -hmm. get together and tee up a fake investigation with a fake dossier paid for by a woman running for president that the DOJ, the FBI, take to paid a Paid for by Republicans first. Pay, pay, uh, no, no. Yes. It yes. was paid for yes. by the yes. DNC and Hillary Clinton. Paid for by the Republicans first. Paid for by the Republicans first. Oh, come on. I wonder what Republican that was. Do you know? Paid for by Republicans first. It's been referred, no. actually. It was okay. a donor I'll to I'll one finish. of his primary I'll opponents. I'll this. So then they take it to a court, and the court then issues a warrant to spy on Americans. Now, if you're not offended by that, whether you're Republican or Democrat, Lady Justice is supposed to be blind, and the evidence is made clear from the email text messages from the top FBI counterintelligence guy. We're going to stop him. It's not going to happen. We'll get an insurance policy. The insurance policy is Russia collusion. 19 months later, we don't have anything. So, when the president recognizes there's meddling, but you can't blame him for saying, you guys have made all of this up. You've been investigating me for 19 months. Come up Benghazi with something. Benghazi went on for over three got, years. Like, Four people ladies. died in Benghazi. And they're in but, but, it's, it's, nothing. it's nice to have people to not yell at me so much. <laughs> when we'll have more with Judge Ginny and Pira when we come back. There's right more. now, yes. <laughs> With Judge Janine Pirro, I wanted to get into the book a little. You tackle the anti-Trump conspiracy in your new book called Liars, Leakers, and Liberals. Now, that title could be offensive to some. Um, <laughs> in no, today's I thought, age, I, you think? I, I, thought she was, I thought she was describing the Trump White House. Liars, leakers, <laughs> and liberals. <laughs> so, tell us about the title and why you wrote the book. Well, I wrote the book because uh, I have... I'm not an ideologue. I mean, I have been in the crime business for over three decades, and I think I said that before. And I know a con when I see it. And I think that what has happened in the last, I think that what has happened truly in the last campaign, and everybody needs to be concerned about that. Lady Justice is supposed to be blind. And when you start creating fake uh, investigations, fake counterintelligence. You saw it yourself with Peter Strzok, who comes out and basically says he hates the president and he's going to take care of everything. They then go to a judge and get a warrant. That's a problem for me, the and it should be a was problem. Can I ask you? You just have your warrant. Look, You're... I've been a judge. I've signed those things. The warrant was based on a fake document by an opposing candidate in a national presidential race. This is what happens it was in not third only world based on that, countries. and you know that. I do know. So I. It it is Jenny, based you just on said that. you're not an ideologue. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not. And I am in law let enforcement. Me, let me ask you the and question. It's right and wrong. Do you think um, Do you think Donald Trump embraces and embodies conservative ideology? Remember, you know, he used to be uh, have a different position on pro-choice. Uh, he's imposing tariffs. He's against globalism. Do you think he is an ideologue that is faithful to conservative policies? You know, I'm not here to talk about what Donald Trump is and isn't. But you I talk about him all the time. No, you got no, to answer the You want to talk about the book. Okay. You want to talk about Donald Trump. You tell me what metric in this country is worse off. Unemployment is lower than it's been in 50 years. Minorities, oh, Hispanics, oh. African Americans oh. have That's because jobs. Because of President Obama. Hate crimes are worse and, off. Wait a minute. The GDP under Obama 
uh, was barely one. We're going up to four. So you want to talk no, about no, hate yeah, crime? I'm telling you about fought a metric. for a but law I, for hate crime. I also you, think it's important, as we said, 89% of the Republican Party still supports true. him. He still has huge popularity in the country. And if Democrats don't get their you know what together, he's certainly going well, to get reelected. Here's my question you know, for you. Here's my question for you because Trump you talk about you, you talk about. I am not. Judge. Nobody no, is. I, no, oh, yeah. Did you just point at me? Yes. Listen, I don't have Trump Gosh. derangement. Let me tell you what I have. Oh, okay. I have a lot of. I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. I'm tired of people starting a conversation about this country. Listen. I'm 62 years old. There have been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never, ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. I've never seen anybody be so dismissive. And I, and clearly you don't watch the show, so you don't know that I don't suffer from that. What I suffer from is the inability to figure out how to fix this. That's my issue. But one of the things that you talk about a lot, and I'm curious about it, is the deep state. How long has the deep state been there, and who's running it? Well, the, the, I want to answer your question, because you gave... I you had actually, to ask oh, no, you a question. You had I, I, your I, opening statement, which was how horrible it is that Donald Trump no, is talking no, no, about that's all what you, of these no, I'm people. Sorry, you know what I think is horrible? You said, Whoopi, you know you said horrible? that it, when it was okay. When people be here end it's, up murdering the children of American citizens. You know what's horrible? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States whips up cities. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me go. You saw me do something I very rarely do. I very rarely lose my cool, and I'm, I'm not proud of it. I don't like it. But I also don't like being accused of being hysterical, because that's one of the things I try not to be on this show. So, have a great day. Go and enjoy the view. Yeah. Thank you to Anna Navarro. Thank Thanks you for, for watching. Thank you for coming. Take a little time to enjoy the view. Bye, y'all. <laughs>